building uh, immediately next to where I live was being demolished. And so I got myself a studio and then the construction ended and I found that I really liked the way I worked, um, that I would get up in the morning, the piano wasn't there, I had to leave my apartment to go practice and I would go f be entirely focused in practicing. When I was done, I was done and I would leave again. And I, I've decided that that's a much more productive way of working. So I, I think I'm gonna keep it this way even though it's no longer strictly speaking necessary the way it was. Just about a year ago, I made the decision to embark on this complete Beethoven Sonata recording cycle. And I sort of had a, you know, I'm still not ready, but I'm never gonna feel ready, and I should just do it moment. <laughs> you know, great music is always greater than you'll ever be able to play it, and I didn't wanna spend the rest of my life um, living in fear of it, and I decided the time was had come to dive in, and, uh, so I really, I've begun this period of a nine year period, it'll be that I'll be recording them and it's gonna be an, an immersion. And this music is so powerful that an immersion in it is a pretty heavy thing. This uh, space is to a pretty amazing extent, purely music, I would say. In addition to all of my scores I have, I do have some books, but they're all music books. Um, many of which I actually do occasionally use for reference when I'm practicing and when I take a break and you know, open one of them up. It doesn't take me out of uh, the world of music that I've been in while I'm working. I've been increasingly aware um, over the last few years of the, f I would say the physical side of playing beyond what is strictly speaking technique. You have to approach the instrument differently if there's always a goal beyond playing what you're trying to play as efficiently as possible. If the point is always to communicate a feeling, then sometimes what you have to do is not the most efficient solution. Sometimes you need to do something which physically is, ties you up in knots to produce the desired effect. I really don't think there's any reason to play any instrument if you don't have the desire to communicate something with it. I mean, you can talk about music in an intellectual sense, and there's a value in talking about music in an intellectual sense, but in the end, there's no doubt in my mind that it exists to communicate feeling. That's what it's about. Yeah.